Dave Deals, Go Mad Nomad from Ravel, coming up next on What's in the Box. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So today we're going to look at a Dave Deal car. This is one of the cartoon miniseries types of cars that Dave Deal was noted for back in the 70s and Ravel has reissued them. And here are some of the other cool things that are included in the series. A little cartoon off the back. And now, without further ado, let's go down to our bench and take the lid off this baby. Welcome back to the 1970s in Cartoon Land as we check out the Go Mad Nomad by Dave Deal under Ravel. Or maybe it's the Gomad Nomad by Ravel under Dave Deal. <laughs> At any rate, here we have a pretty cool model. And I must confess, I did do a tiny bit of work on this, so you won't buy it that a model that's like half built when you buy one off the shelf. So, what's cool about the Gomad Nomad is that it includes this cartooned instruction sheet, of course, drawn up by the master himself, Mr. Dave Deal. And it gives you uh, what to do before you begin in decal application, written both in English and French, because this is an American model being sold into Canada. So as you can see, the instructions are pretty straightforward. The build is pretty simple, but it does have these cartoon comic book type <laughs> a narration telling you all the stuff that goes together and putting on the rear chrome at the back. And of course, the undercarriage and exhaust, followed by the wrap up of the model. So, in case you're wondering, this is sort of about a story about a surfer who goes into the into the farmland and gets totally lost. So, that's what the comic is about. So now, looking at the model kit, we. First off, have the little shrunken down cartoonized body. This is a 57 Chevy Nomad that, of course, has been given the cartoon treatment and then translated into plastic from Ravel. It's quite a cute little car body. The interior has been reduced down to the simple pan arrangement. And there is a hole for the, I believe, gear shift lever, which helps you align up where the head goes. Oh, you can't even see that too well. There he is. Just need a little shadow cast on there. So I have glued this head together because it was a two-part on the parts tree. Can't really make it out too well with, with the lighting. There we go. Some pretty nice detail on it. And then we have our underpan. It's quite simple, but it does have some nice uh, undercarriage marks in there, as well as molded in springs. Now, how does this fit together? Well, this would go in here onto those two little pins down there. This used to be done under Fun Dimensions. So the copyright here says 1971. So you know this is from quite some time ago. is going together nice. Okay, so the other parts, we of course have our glass, which I'm going to keep in the bag here, as well as headlights. Now something weird happened to my tires. They went frosty on me, but you can just scrub that off with a toothbrush. I don't know why that happened. That's really unique. Might be the climate out here in Alberta, who knows. The front two are still okay. The big ones went weird on me. Okay, anyway. Oh yes, I forgot to mention those tires have good boot written on them, which was uh, typical of this. There's your exhaust pipes and your wheels. Notice how deep that wheel is right there. <laughs> and it's got a chrome front cap, which is equally as deep. And here you get, there's a gear shift lever that goes in the hole in the interior, 
as well as a surfboard that you mount on the roof and there's a little fin for it and we have our radiator right there for the big v8 blower that's sticking out of the hood and we've got the arms for the figure this one is holding the steering wheel and that one was shifting the gear lever and then of course here's our chrome now you can notice the exaggerations on here this is the blower setup for the hood scoop which is this <laughs> so he had a teeny blower in this massive giant hood scoop and there's your deep dish chrome wheels and yeah that is pretty much the end of it so that concludes our examination of the dave deal go mad nomad by ravel i hope you enjoyed this cartoony video where we got to see dave deal's go mad nomad and make sure to check out our website at www.monster-hobbies.ca and if you would like to donate to these great videos and this wonderful series to keep it going please go to our youtube homepage and look for our little tiny teeny tiny paypal icon and if you want to see some other cool videos in this series please check them out here here and here and don't forget to like and subscribe to us here and click that notification bell so if we make a new video with something totally new you'll get notification right away and until next time happy model building